Now, after we generated a navbar component, let's try creating a new component that will hold our um, table. For example, we will generate component ng g component um, table table component. So now the table is generated, and as we can see here, table works. But if we run our server again, um, we stopped our server because we need to create a new component. Every time that we need to create a new component, we should always stop our server. Now, the server is like running already and it's still in the localhost for 200. Yet, the table is not here. The table works, words are still not here. So, what we should do is... We go back to our app component.html. Then, if we change this to app dash table, you can now see the table works word here, yet the nav bar is gone. What I usually do for my own um, comfort, I here in the table that component HTML, I insert here the navbar component, which will look like this. This works in Angular because the app dash not navbar or the navbar component module is accessible through all the Angular files, which in this case the app dash not navbar can be accessed in table component. Then after putting this. You can now see that the nav bar is showing. And here in the app component.html, I just input the app dash table um, syntax. And then it basically shows everything that I made already. And afterwards, now we can create a table here. In here, um, I'm going to insert some directives that I usually use or the most commonly used directives in Angular. So. Let's start with doing the table. Then we and we insert the table head, we insert the table row, and we put um the table header, ID, um name, um email, email. As we save that, you can see there's like already a header, but we don't have the contents for it. So what we should do is under the table head, after the table head, so it's um, the default thing. After the header, we insert the contents or the body of the table. So we put the body, and then in a table row, we use a directive. This directive is called ng-form. For, this works like a for loop in the regular uh, JavaScript or any other languages. Let users of user. As you can see, there's an error because we didn't still declare this inside our, inside our table that component dot ts. So what I should do after encountering this error is I go here in the table that component dot ts, and we create here a variable called users. Users is equals to the array that we will use. Then we insert id name for example um john doe and the email is um john doe at example.com then the error is gone because the user variable is already declared then we add more to this then there we go we just need to add two more two three Let's say this one is different. Let's say Jane Smith. Then this name for the other one is also different. Bob Johnson. Um, and then let's change this to Jane Smith at example.com. Let's change this to Bob Johnson at example.com. 
Now you can see here that the user's array is now declared here inside our type TypeScript. If we go back to our table components, um, we can now uh, access this array using some languages, uh, using some syntax. We will use the double quotes. This is this is the way in Angular to access a variable in TypeScript by using um, brackets multiple brackets as uh, to remember it always use two brackets two open brackets and two closing brackets so that you can access the variables in the TypeScript file so what we do is user dot ID we save it and then it's gonna generate one two and three as we can see here in the TypeScript the ID is one two and three so that's already a for loop already so uh, for um, for example, in a for loop, we do it like for um, for integer i is equal to 3 and less than something, and etc. It's going to keep going and going and going until it ends. But here we have, we, we just only have 3 um, users. So what we'll do is it's only going to go up and loop until the id is 3. If we add 1 or make it 4, gonna be 4 see it added 4 on it but the name is the same so what we'll do um, let's say Robert Johnson the brother of Bob Johnson <laughs> and then we add we change this to Robert Johnson at example.com then afterwards after editing that I can now give you the example of accessing the user name user dot name Oh, the table name is not existing, so it should be like that. Um, ty uh, the, the TypeScripts or the Angular is um, case sensitive, so you should be aware of that. And then one more table data. It's gonna be user that email. Then if you save it, those emails are gonna be here already. Um, I won't add CSS for now because. It's not part of this uh, lecture, but if you want to make it prettier, you can do it for your end. But for me, I'm just going to stick this because this covers up everything that I need to discuss. Um, directives is very useful if we need to display a lot of items in our um, Angular file or our web page in Angular. But in actual thing, this is not hard coded anymore, wherein you can use some APIs to access uh, to access some data like for example a lot of products that you have to sell or you have to put in your um, store wherein after accessing that API using for loop you can just generate it with a single line of code it's like this with, with a much simpler code that you need that you don't need to do over and over again using directives that's for the ng for loop there's still a lot of um, directives like ngf and etc and those are usable in some certain conditions that you need to do. Um, later in this course, I will give you an example about NGF so that you will be familiar with it.